Hello, Chamberlain High School. Mr. Stevens here with today's announcements. First things first, as you know, we're undergoing some major renovations right now. The plaster has been repaired, new paint now adorns the walls, our heating system has been upgraded, and our new seats will be installed soon. Thank you very much for your patience and support. Remember, the use of photography and or video or audio recording is strictly prohibited. And if you do it, I will find you on Facebook, on Twitter, and Insta photomogram or whatever it's called. I will find you. Prom souvenirs are now available, which you may purchase in the lobby when we're done here. And no, you may not use your lunch card to buy a t-shirt, but you can use cash or a credit card with your parents' permission. All right, now it's time to put away your cell phone and other noise-making devices. That includes you, Mr. Nolan. You should know this by now. It distracts from your educational experience. Those are your announcements for today. This is Mr. Stevens signing off. Go Eagles! Name, please. State your full name. You already know my name, it's Sue. Susan Snell. And you were born in the town of? Chamberlain, Maine. I was born and raised there. When did you first meet Carrie White? Um, elementary school? We were in the same grade. I don't think I'd said a hundred words to her before this all began. Could you turn down that light, please? I can't see. Tell us about the night of May 28th. About the occurrences that led up to the alleged event. Alleged event? Why do you keep asking me the same thing over and over again? Are you trying to catch me in a lie? Is that it? We want the truth. I've already told you everything that I know. How many times do we have to go through this? Until it makes sense. Until we understand. What you need to understand is that we were just kids. Kids trying to do our best. We were kids. Stop. Mr. Nolan, 12. Hey, Tommy Ross, watch those hands. Yeah, definitely no tongue. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah, you two, get a room. Hey, you, Chris Harginson, lose the gum before class. And where would you like me to stick it, Miss Gardner? Anywhere you like, just get it out of your mouth. Carrie White, get a move on. Gym class in two minutes. <gasps>
the game. Watch where you're going, loser. All right, everyone, hit the showers and get changed up. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. And so. time she's had her period. <laughs> you don't know? Oh my god, you're okay, Carrie. You're gonna be all right. I didn't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. <laughs> Talk about Jonas! All right, show's over. Clean up this mess and get back to class. Did you say that she didn't even know? Chris! Well, Chris is right, Miss Gardner. What has gotten into you, Sue? Come on, it's just Carrie. <laughs> Shame on you. Do you believe her going off on me like that? Sue, shame on you. What's gotten into you? Besides Tommy Ross. Shut up. <laughs> I mean, who does she think she is anyway? It's not like this was all my fault. I wasn't the only one. Ugh, who gives a damn what some lesbian gym teacher thinks anyway? She's not a lesbian. At least I don't think so. She's not, is she? Oh my god, who cares? Details, details. <laughs> Look, Norma's already posted about it. <laughs> It is hard to believe that any girl today could still be ignorant of the facts of life. That's just it. When I tried to explain it to Carrie, it seemed like she didn't even know what I was talking about. I, I mean, what are the odds? You'd think her mother would have told her. And that mother of hers always ranted how everybody's going straight to hell except her and her precious little Carrie. Oh my god, do you remember that time in third grade when she got down on her knees in the cafeteria? Oh god, praying with that Bible. And that dress. Oh, praying Carrie, ugly, short, and hairy. All her friends are imaginary. <laughs> As usual, Chris Harginson was the ringleader. No surprise there. But even Sue Snell was doing it. And you expect a thing like that from Chris, but Sue... All the girls were doing it. You'll have to take care of it, Lynn. Right? Read them the riot act. And that light bulb, did you love it? Pow! Her mother should have told her. Oh, well, like mother, like daughter. She'll hear you. You care too much what people think. Oh, I almost forgot. My folks are away, so there's a party at my house tonight. <laughs> Carrie. Carrie, go home and rest for the remainder of the day. We're all terribly sorry about this, Carrie. Skip gym class this week, Tate. Study hall instead. Get it right, Carrie! 
What exactly was Tommy Ross's involvement in all of this? I already told you I'm not going there. Surely there's something. Please, Sue, tell us. He... He was an amazing athlete, but he was good at whatever he did on and off the field. He was my... Tommy. Tommy! Yo, Ross! Hey -o. Yo, Ross, you psyched for prom? <laughs> yeah, right. You ever seen me in a tuxedo? I look like a freaking penguin. Shut up, Tommy. You're gonna look great. Girls eat that shit up. <laughs> you invited Sue yet? Uh, tonight. I've been uh, waiting for the right moment. Dude, you wait much longer and prom is gonna be over. Yo, Sikaz! Oh, Jesus, Billy, really watch it! <laughs> what are you girls up to? If it isn't praying, Carrie, I wonder who taking, who's taking her to prom, her mother? Leave her alone, <laughs> Billy. Hey, baby, I bet that you are a real hottie under all, you know, that. You're such an asshole. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, church girl. Dance with me. I will make you see God. <laughs> what the hell? Good one, Nolan. <laughs> How's your pussy print? Yeah, what are you guys laughing at? Goddamn bitch trick me. Are you all right? Hey, Tommy, what? Yeah, leave the freak alone, let's go. Don't pay any attention to those clowns. They're just messing around. <laughs> Welcome. Fellow travelers in the darkness, welcome and fear no more. This is the Reverend Matthew Bliss coming to you across the blessed airwaves of WORD Radio, bringing you the true gospel of the Lord across the land. Lord, you have found me a wandering in the darkness. Light my way with your true faith and I'll sing with Devastation, then he will. 
and set the table for dinner, please. I have a lot of work to finish. Mama? Just as the laundry was about to close, Eleanor Snell brought in some last-minute alterations. I think the Snells are having a graduation party for Sue. She's in your class, isn't she? Mama, listen. Anyway, Eleanor said she'd pay double, so I'll be up all night trying to get it all done. Heaven knows we can use the extra money. Mama, something happened at school today, something terrible. Terrible things are the Lord's way of testing us, Carrie. Well, I know, but the other girls... You're not like the other girls. But I am, Mama, I am. I never thought so. You're but... not, Carrie. You're different. You're special. Special. You're not listening to me, Mom. I've heard all I want to hear. Now go and wash your hands, please. Mama, in the shower, I... What have I told you about showering with the other girls? Well, I know, but... What have I told you? It's a sin, it's a sin. And as such, it is forbidden. But Mama, I started to bleed. Mama, I started to bleed and the other girls, they laughed at me and called me names and I was so scared. Mama, why are you looking at me like that? The curse of blood. Mama, you're frightening me. Bow your head and pray, woman. And God made Eve from the rib of Adam. And Eve was weak and loosed the raven on the world. Mama, it wasn't my fault. And the raven was called sin. So God visited Eve with the curse. And the curse was the curse of blood. Say it, woman. And God made Eve from Adam's rib, and Eve was weak. Mama, how could I know? And Eve was weak. And Eve was weak. Why didn't you tell me? And God made Eve to bear the curse, the curse of blood. It's not a curse. The curse of blood. Miss Gardner says it's something all girls the go through. The curse of blood. You should have told me! You're a woman now. Pray to heaven for your wicked soul. Oh. The raven came to plague the world. Its name was sin. It's not a sin. Its name was sin. Mama, it's, it's not a sin. sin. Begin. And last was how the sin began. The sin was man. I don't understand. Well, understand. No. The sin was man. What have I done? God has seen your sinning. Beginning, pray for your salvation from damnation.
Chris and I were best friends. Our moms had grown up together and we're still incredibly close. We were the two most popular girls in school and I, I guess that everybody just assumed that we would be friends forever. Suze, hey, I've got some great news we've got to celebrate. <laughs> What's up? Looks like we'll be going to college together after all. But I thought Brown turned you down. Yeah, well, Daddy pulled a few strings and now I'm in. We get to be roomies, is that perfect or what? <laughs> Party here, bitches! Oh, yes. 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 I am starved, what do you have to eat? Mm. Okay, no offense, but you... You could have anyone. What do you see in him? Oh, easy. He totally freaks out my old man. Daddy's already offered to buy me a new car if I promise to stop seeing him, so I'm holding out for a Beamer. <laughs> so do you guys believe that stunt in the showers today? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What, what happened? Oh, I carry white happened. <laughs> 17 fucking years old, guys, and that stupid retard just stood there having her very first Period. <laughs> oh, gross, in the showers? Oh, yeah, blood was just dripping down her leg. Yeah. Oh, and she was just standing there squealing like a eat. stuck little pig. Oh, wait, 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 Stop it, it's not funny. Hey, you guys, stop, stop. Stop. Susan's right. It's not funny. It's hilarious. <laughs> oh, sweetie. There's a runt in every litter, a nobody. And our nobody is Carrie. Guess what, ever since the world began, same plot, everyone's been dumping on a fellow man. Founding people, they feel better than. I hope you're taking notes, cause you feel everyone deserves a shot. Get real, some of us have got a girl and some got squat. That's the truth, oh honey, like it or not. I hate to break it to you, my daddy taught me you get nowhere being nice. So now I'm sharing his advice. The world according to Chris is better to strike than get struck. Better to screw than get screwed. You'd probably think. I mean, what does it cost to be kind? <laughs> what does it cost to be kind? Oh my god, what have you done with my best friend? Billy, you've been in high school for like, what, seven years? Tell me, am I right or am I right? Trust me. <laughs> I swear there's a dick in every class. Not fair. Each and every time I fail, those losers pass. Hey, every one of them can kiss my ass. You wonder why I love him. One year there was this so queer, and on top of that, he had a wandering eye. But then he looked at me and bye bye. I bet he got the message. We're here to tell you how this whole damn freak show works. Oh, yeah. If you don't listen, then you're just the world according to Chris. She's just being pissed. You weren't there. It was awful. We were hurting Carrie. I'm sure it wasn't that bad. Tommy, you don't understand. What was just a joke got out of hand. We kept on screaming till she hit the floor. Everybody was doing it. Hey, I was in there too. What came over me was something new. I did things I'd never done before. This way. Look, Sue, don't be so hard on yourself. You can tell me to keep my mouth shut, but you wanna know what I'd advise? What? Apologize. Apologize. Tommy, that's genius. Ooh, Sue, I can tell you're feeling bad. Boo hoo, so we call for Carrie, and it's too damn bad. 
Instead of going to all those parties after prom, you and me drive out to the beach and watch the sun come up together. Just the two of us. How do you do that? What? Make everything better. Mama sees inside my soul, but her face is cold as stone. If she loves me, why do I feel so all alone? Go to bed now. Yes, Mama. You must forget about what happened today. Yes, Mama. God will protect us. Yes, Mama. God will forgive us. Yes, Mama. It's getting late. Say your prayers. Now I lay me down to sleep. Pray, Lord, my soul to keep. If I die before I wake, pray the Lord my soul to take. I never wanted to cause you such pain, but there are times when my life is so frightening. I've done. Mama, you don't need forgiveness. I was 
Settle down. Now that many of you have been accepted into college, I know you think you can coast for the remainder of the term, but you are sorely mistaken. <laughs> As I was saying, the abysmally low quality of your assignments this week was only exceeded by Mr. Nolan. Thank you. Thank you all very much. Yeah, I couldn't even be bothered to turn one in. Don't suppose you care to offer an explanation or... I ain't got nothing. Surprise, surprise. And <laughs> for the record, Mr. Nolan, it's I haven't got anything. You ain't got nothing neither? There was, however, one ray of light, one composition which touched me with the authenticity of its emotion. I would like that person to recite his work for the rest of you. Tommy Ross. Yay, Tommy Ross! One more word out of you, Mr. Nolan, and you can repeat this class for a third time. God knows there's one more time than either of us can survive. Tommy. Do I have to? Yep. Stan, please, read your poem. Go Cap! Woo! Cut up! <laughs> Dreamer in Disguise by Tommy Ross. Oh my God! <laughs> so... An eagle's just another bird until he can spread his wings. Yeah! Yeah! Hey, guys! Come on. Freddy, it's a pretty good bird, but shut up. <laughs> a river is just a sheet of ice till winter turns to spring. And though the clouds may block the sun, don't mean that's left the sky. Just when you think you've seen it all, there's more than meets the eye Like things I dream and things I feel There's more to me than I reveal And cause I shine in quiet ways I'm someone you don't recognize I'm a diamond in the rough a dreamer in disguise. An eagle's just another bird until he can spread his wings. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you. Hey. All right, class. Comments. Comments. Anybody, come on, anyone at all. Beautiful. Carrie White. Yes, excellent. Stand, please, and uh, share your thoughts with the rest of the class. 
Beautiful, just beautiful. Beautiful, like, mm. like, oh, beautiful for amber waves of yay. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, period, girl. <laughs> Go on, Carrie. How did the poem speak to you? Well, I, I think that it says that just because something or someone seems one way, that, that it doesn't mean that it, that it is that way. Chris. I just think that maybe it seems like, um... I'm gonna hurl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, quiz, next time, class. I'd study your Moby Dick if I was you. The book, the not the movie. Now get out of here. <laughs> Come on, Sue, we've got prom committee meeting. Oh, I'll be there in a minute, start without me. Got it. Hi, Carrie. Um, that was nice. Really nice, what you said about Tommy's poem. I thought it was beautiful, too. Look, um, about the other day, I don't know, things just Haven't sort of Haven't you had of... enough? Do you think you can just go on tricking me forever? Whoa. God. <laughs> well, Mousy's got a temper. <laughs> Suits, come on. Suits. Look at someone passing by And then one day you see her The day you finally see her My God, she shook And then she looked me in the eye I'd never seen her angry I hate I made her angry She bunch to send off to graduation and out into the real world. Oh my, yes. And prom's next Saturday. Sue, you'll be going with Tommy Ross, I imagine. And Chris, well, I bet you could take your pick. Who's the lucky guy? Billy Nolan. Who? Billy Nolan. Well, isn't that perfect? Do any of you stop to, say, to think that Carrie White has feelings? Do any of you ever stop to think? Wipe that smirk off your face, Norma. You know, ladies, life's about choices, about making the right choice. And I want you to know that what you did yesterday was made the wrong one and did a real shitty thing. So this is how it's going to go down. Each of you are going to apologize to Carrie. What? Apologize to her in front of everyone. <laughs> yeah, forget it. I won't. Well, that's up to you, Chris. That's up to all of you. <laughs> and if we don't, do you really want to find out? <laughs> oh, that... Goddamn scary white, this is all her fault! Let it go, Chris. Why are you taking her side? This isn't about sides. <sighs> what did Carrie White ever do to you or to any of us? My, my. Look who's becoming the little Joan of Arc around here. Oh, wait, remind me. Who was in there pitching with the rest of us? I was. Yeah. But I'm sorry. <laughs> You're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, hey everyone, little Miss Perfect is sorry. She's so sorry. Oh, Susie's sorry. She's so sorry. Chris, whip it. All right, y'all have something to say to Carrie. Who's going first? Carrie. Carrie, I'm sorry. Frida. Sorry, Carrie. Your turn, Norma. Sorry. Helen. Sorry. All right, Chris, let's hear it. The goddamn pigs fly. We're waiting, Chris. I can't hear you. Please, it's okay. Carrie. <laughs> Carrie, I... You don't have to do this. <laughs> Carrie White? Eats shit. That's it, Harginson. <laughs> You're out of the prom. <laughs> what? You heard me. You're out. End of story. Yeah, you can't get away with that. <laughs> Watch me. Period's not over yet. There's still ten minutes left. You can stick them up their ass. <laughs> Class dismissed. <laughs> My daddy's a lawyer. He'll sue your ass. Shut up. You will never get another job teaching. All right, she, everyone get a move she on. She cannot Go. get away with Go. this. And we just stick together. Helen, Norma, Sue. Just shut up, Chris. Just shut up. Not everything's about you. Hell. Carrie, Carrie, if I had any idea how this was going to happen, I would You've just got to let Chris go. You've just got to. What are you talking about? Prom. It's very important to her. And what's right is important to me. But prom is everything to those girls. It's the one night they get all dressed up and look beautiful, and it's like a dream. What and... about you? Me? Oh, no, no. I'm not going. I'm, I'm different. Not that different. Yes, I am. They've all got someone. And so will you one day. Things change. I tell you what, let's pretend. Miss Gardner. Just for a minute, pretend that the right someone comes up to you and says, Carrie, would you be my date for prom? What would you say? No. <sighs> Carrie, why not? I'm not pretty. Sure you are. Come here. So many years you face the world alone, frightened that life might pass you by. Then he appears, someone who smiles at you. This is no time to question why. Love can find you when you least expect. Funny how to lie. That's how it starts to unsuspecting hearts. Let yourself go. Give someone half a chance. Maybe he's waiting just for you. You never know. This could be paradise. Maybe your dreams just might come true. And you never Once you share that first hello, that's how it starts to one suspecting hearts. And you never will if you don't give it a chance. Now you listen to me. You were a beautiful young woman. Me? Yes, you. Silly you, look at those eyes. And with the right shade of lipstick. Lipstick? My mother would never... And with the perfect dress, Carrie, it could be wonderful. In a world where nothing's sure and nothing's ever guaranteed, you should trust the way you feel. That's the only thing that's real. It's like magic how your spirit soars. Once you feel his hand in yours, that's how it starts to unsuspecting oh, 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 o
Hey, can I run something by you? I was just gonna ask you the same thing. You go first. No, you. Okay. So you know how everything's all laid out in front of us? Our future's all planned out? Yeah. I was thinking I might try something different. Different? What if I put this whole sports thing on hold and see if I've got what it takes to be a writer? It's stupid, right? No, 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 it's epic. Epic? Yeah, I, I think you could be an amazing writer. Really? Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> what did you want to ask me? Nothing, that's okay. Come on, Sue, what's really been going on with you lately? You wouldn't understand. Not fair, try me. Tommy, lately, I've just not been feeling right. I'm so ashamed of how we've all been treating Carrie White. Now I realize this is hardly your concern. I hate to drag you into this, but I've got nowhere else to turn. Do me a favor. Stop. I'm pissed. Jesus, can't, can't you just forget about it? I don't want to forget about it. They humiliate me. And you know who I blame? That goddamn freak. Something that Carrie White will just have to learn. That she plays with fire, that she's gonna get burned. I want her to pay up for all that she cost me. Both. Me? What do you need me for? Revenge, Billy, and you're gonna help me get it. I don't know what it is yet, but I swear by the time we're done with her, that stupid troll's not gonna know it hit her. <laughs> you always amaze me with the way that you think. If I was your daddy, I would buy you a shrink. You're pissed off, so hot, I like you this way. Whatever your game is, girl, I'm ready to play. I've been thinking about how happy she would be. If only you'd take Carrie to the prom instead of me. Do what? Who do you want me to invite? I thought that was supposed to be our night. I know you're only trying to do what's right, but whoa, I won't be taking Carrie White. Think of Carrie. Don't think I can do this. Six, okay, seven, never mind. Six, Sue. No, five, I. Four, I need to try and three, fix this. Two, one. Five. Come on, come on. Really, you'll do it? to be electrochemical in nature. Numerous incidents have been reported of individuals possessing such an ability. These individuals are termed anomalies. Anomaly. I can do this. Concentrate. Well, good afternoon, Chamberlain High. This is Freddie. Quick announcement for you. 
Uh, don't forget to pre-order your prom photos. I'm gonna be getting all Annie Leibovitz on Saturday, so boys, you better suit up. And ladies, well, clothing is optional. Wow! Ready, Tommy? I'm gonna look real stupid when she turns oh, me down. she won't. How do you know? I've seen the way that she looks, that you trust me. She'll say yes. All right. Hi! Carrie. What are you doing here? I, uh, this is where you live, huh? Aren't you gonna ask me in? M Mama's resting, what do you want? Right to the point, okay. So I was wondering, if you don't have a date, would you like to go to prom with me? Prom? It's this Saturday. I know it's late notice, but I thought I might ask oh, you. I don't like to be tricked. Oh, come on, Carrie. I know who you hang around with. I don't hang out with anyone I don't want to. Why are you doing this? Because I want to. No, you're not. I don't know. Because you liked my poem. Come on, Carrie, just say yes. I can't. Yes, you can. Will you go to prom with me? Carrie, supper! In a minute, Mama, you better go. Not till you say yes. I would love to. Well, then do it. It'll be all right. Whatever are you doing out there? Please, if she finds you... Say yes and I'll go. Yes. Yes? Yes, okay, yes. Carrie! Good. I knew I would. No. But now I do. I'll pick you up at eight. Fine. Thank you. What you've been dreaming about tonight, Carrie. You hardly touched your supper. Now have some pie. It makes me have pimples, Mom. Nonsense. As Peter says, the only beauty that matters is the precious light that comes from within. Mama, don't you think it's time I should try to get along? Whatever are you going on about, Carrie? Being different is the Lord's blessing. Mama, people think I'm strange. All the kids have called me names. Well, then just don't listen to them. It is written, he who hears my voice alone shall be saved. Mama, can't we stop and talk? There's this boy named Tommy Ross. Marietta. I've been invited to the prom. I never dreamed that I could go when he first asked, and I said no, he asked me twice, he asked me twice, and so I finally told him yes, I thought if I could make my dress, I might look nice, I might look nice, I know I'm not like all the others, sometimes I dream in colors, sometimes I even think I'm lovely. Nobody feels the things that I do, Mama, please. I'm just not like you, maybe. I'll find someone to love me. Tommy's a very nice boy and he'll have me home by midnight. 
It's Saturday. I've accepted, Mama. I've accepted. Turning to the night of May 28th, what can you tell us about the events leading up to the prom? Prom. It was meant to be a celebration. The biggest night of our lives. It was supposed to be the ending of one chapter and the beginning of another. We ain't seen nothing yet. It's gonna be a night we'll never forget. You ain't seen nothing yet. It's gonna be a night we'll never forget. I will 
deserve after everything we pay. Them, I don't care. I can't believe you're gonna miss your own senior prom. Oh, come on, it's just one night. You're taking Scary White to prom? Look, I know it sounds a little crazy. Have you lost your freaking mind? Yeah, if you were that desperate, why didn't you just ask me? <laughs> what? <I'm> kidding. <laughs> Which honestly worries me even more. I believe in getting even, that's what I believe. And I just don't forgive and forget. I don't turn the other cheek for some pathetic freak. Carrie White's got a lot to regret. Watching you getting blood everywhere, you stupid shit. Who are you calling a stupid shit? This whole thing was your idea. Oh my God. Listening. Sorry. Well, why did Tommy ask Carrie to prom? I just... I thought we could get her to join in and... Make her feel like a part of things? What could you possibly be thinking? This is really none of your business. Excuse me? What's the big deal? It's a very big deal to Carrie! And don't you think you're gonna look a little ridiculous when you show up to prom with her? We don't care how we look, right, Tommy? Well, now that you mention it... Seriously? Great. Clearly, you two have a lot to talk about. Listen to me and listen to me good. You hurt Carrie in any way you've got me to answer to. I thought we were on the same page about this. We are. Then why are you having second thoughts? Tommy, you don't have to go through with this if you don't want to. Look, I said I'll do it, and I will. I just thought we had agreed to help Carrie, but now you're mad at me. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. I wanted to take my girl to prom. And I wanted to make things right. Listen, all this high school drama, 
all this stuff, none of it means anything. Before you know it, it's all going to be over with. But what about us? Are we just going to be over too? Babe, is that what you're worried about? In one month, we're going to be backpacking through Europe. All this is going to seem like ancient history. You promise? I promised to show you the world, didn't I? Now come on. What are you doing? Just come on! <laughs> Thank you for picking up the ballots, Norma. I really appreciate it. Oh, anything you need, Mr. Stevens? Yeah. Just ask. Um, anything at all. Okay. Hey, you guys, leave the decorations. We'll finish them after lunch. Yeah, and last one out, get the lights. Oh, chicken patties! Woo! Did you do what I told you to? Don't I always? All fixed and ready to go. Oh, you're such a good friend, Norma. <laughs> Tommy. Just go with me on this. Okay. All right, wait there. What are you doing? <laughs> One more sec. Okay. All right. <laughs> you can open your eyes right now. Oh my god. Now we might not have tomorrow, but we've got right now, and that's all that counts. So I've just pulled up in my dad's car. Hong Kong! <laughs> You're wearing your pink dress. Blue. You always look great in blue. <laughs> I'm wearing my rented tux, looking like a total dork. The whole thing is kind of cheesy, but nice. Then you drag me out on the dance floor. But of course, I hate dancing. This <laughs> is our last dance of our senior year. And I'm with the most incredible person I know. Me? Yeah, right. All I do lately is mess up. I mean it. You don't give yourself enough credit. If you could see the way that you look to me, I bet that you'd be amazed at the sight. Tommy. You'd see a heart that's fearless and true from my point of view. Oh, you shine. What about you? Why is it always so easy for you? Man, if you only knew. Half the time I'm just faking it, hoping no one will ever discover I'm a complete fraud. I think you hide so much you feel inside, but I know deep down there's a fire burning bright. From where you stand it might not be clear. You shine from here. shine, oh how you shine, you shine. What a surprise, gazing into your eyes, I swear that I still get lost in the light, no photograph could possibly show. Tommy, thank you. I love you. I love you. He'd never said that before. That's what I remember most about that day. Shut
that. If I can make it down the stairs, if I can make it to the door, if I can open it and say, oh, Tommy, hi, then maybe he won't even notice that I'm staring at the floor. But if other girls get through this, why can't I? If I can keep my knees from buckling, if I can keep my pulse in check, then I will never give the world a chance to see that underneath this smile I'm smiling, I'm so totally a wreck. But if other girls get through this, why not me? Oh, I expect that kids will stare, but they will rattle me no matter what they do. Cause I know I may not be welcome, but at least I will be there. And if other girls belong, then I do too. Mustn't go. I know you don't understand, but I'm trying to protect you. I don't need your protection, Mama. I won't let you go. I don't want to fight with you. Now I have to finish getting ready. Stay here instead. Just tell me what you'd like to do. We'll talk and we'll laugh, and I'll sing for you. And I promise you, we won't fight. Don't leave tonight. Mama, I'm late. That boy doesn't care, not at all. He'll be here at eight. He'll build you up only to watch you fall. Carrie, you don't know these people. They're not your friends. Carrie. They're only waiting to tear you in two. What if they like me? Just like your father, they'll leave when they're through. They might like me. They'll like me. You're such a fool. Aren't you aware how people deceive? They'll take you and break you, and then they will leave you. Carrie. Carrie, Carrie, you are the one I was betrayed for, my pride and my shame, my Carrie, Carrie, we're one and the same, Carrie, Mama, I love you. 
I'll say you're sick. You'll say nothing, Mama. You'll stay here and not say a word. But you must stay here. For straight is the gate, and narrow is the path to salvation. The Lord said there will be a day of judgment, and an angel with his sword and his arm. And on that day, there will be judgment. There will be a reckoning. It has been foretold. The sun shall turn to darkness and the moon to crimson red. And there will be a rain of blood. Hi. Hi. These are for you. Do you want me to put them on? Please. Am I all right? Yes. Yes. You're beautiful. Did not God himself command Abraham to take his son Isaac upon the hill and sacrifice him? She must be sacrificed. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live.
never forget. You okay? I think so. Nervous. Me too. <laughs> Whoa. We could go somewhere else, get something to eat. No. No, I want to do this. Okay then. Let's do it. You ain't seen nothing yet. It's gonna be a night we'll never forget. Carrie? Is that Carrie White? <laughs> you have got to be kidding. No freaking way. <laughs> way. God, Carrie, you look great. Thank you. Dude, if I'd have known you were gonna clean up this good, I would have invited you to the prom instead of what's her name over there. Yeah, yeah, in your dreams, Dawson. Don't pay any attention to them. Men. Where'd you buy your dress? It's awesome. I made it. Made it? No shit. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> Why, Carrie, I can't get over it. You look so different. <laughs> I mean, you're positively glowing. And Frida, don't you look <laughs> sweet? <laughs> Norma. Get douched. <laughs> You ain't seen nothing yet It's gonna be a night we'll never forget I told you you'd be all right. They're not so bad once you get to know them. It's all so strange. I hoped I'd be okay. You are. You saw how they treated you. Hey, you two, stop. Right there. This one's for posterity. Oh. That is a keeper. <laughs> Carrie? Oh, Miss Gardner, you look incredible. You too, Carrie. You look amazing. <laughs> Hi, Miss Gardner. Tommy. <laughs> Should I go get us something to drink? That would be nice. Miss Gardner? I'd love that. Thank you, Tommy. Will you be okay? Fine. Thank you. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just trying to memorize it all. Every <laughs> single detail. Is it everything you dreamed? It's nice. <laughs> just nice? What? It's like being on Mars. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do. I remember my first prom. I went with the captain of the basketball team. He was six foot seven inches tall. So I had to go out and buy a stiletto heels so a goodnight kiss would be a little less awkward. Anyway, we went in his pickup truck, which of course broke down, and we ended up walking the last half mile to prom. Oh no. By the time I got there, my, my feet were so blistered, all I could do was just sit there. I was sure I ruined the night. I couldn't even dance. But you know what? We just sat there and talked. And it turned out to be one of the best nights of my entire life. So I guess I'm not the only one who's ever felt this way. Now I'm thinking suddenly. you hugging any guys like that. <laughs> you won't. <laughs> Miss Gardner? Cheers, you two. Have a lovely time tonight. So, how about a dance? Oh, no, I couldn't. Don't be so nervous. Not yet, please. All right, at least you didn't say no. <laughs> Do I really have to have you home by 12? Yes, I promised. All right. Afterwards, a few of us are going to go out, and I just... Oh, okay, yeah. What? Well, oh, if you want to go out with your friends, I don't want to spoil anything. What I was going to say is if you'd like to, maybe we could stop by the blazer for a little bit. I've never been there. They have the best fries. <laughs> well, I'd love to. Well, then, it's decided. All right, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it is time to vote for this year's king and queen of the prom. Women. This contest insults men. Oh, All right, when you get your ballots, everyone vote for your favorite couple. Here you go, kids. Tommy, we're on here. Yeah, I see. Do you want to decline? Do you? No way. If you win, you just go up there for the school song. <laughs> they take your picture for the, year the school yearbook so that years from now your kids can see what idiots you were. 
Well, who do we vote for? I mean, they're more your crowd than mine. I don't really have a crowd. Well, let's vote for ourselves, then. To hell with false modesty. <laughs> to hell with it. <laughs> now, how about that dance? Tommy. Take my hand. No, no, don't look down. Look right here and forget about everything else. An eagle's just another bird Until he can spread his wings A river is just a sheet of ice Till winter turns to spring And though the clouds may block the sun Don't mean that it's left the sky Just when you think you've seen it all there's more than meets the eye Like things I dream And things I feel There's more to me than, than I, I reveal And cause I shine in quiet ways I'm someone you don't recognize I'm a diamond in the rough A dreamer in I couldn't just stay home. After everything that had happened, I needed to see how it had all worked out. I needed to see. Harry looked so at ease and so happy. Well, would you get a load of them? <laughs> Could you just barf? I can't believe Chris is missing this. Trust me, doll. She isn't missing a thing. <laughs> Look at how she's smiling now, that stupid little cow. Well, the real fun is not started yet. I've had it up to here with all your demands Remember I'm not the only one with blood on his hands Now I realize you've got a bone to pick But even for me this trick is pretty damn sick I've got one last little beat And then my plan's complete For a night that she'll never forget <laughs> Norma, what are you up to? Oh, hi, I didn't expect to see you here tonight. God, you're under arrest. What are you doing? Um, nothing. What's going on? Look, I'd love to stop and chat, Sue, but I'm on official ballot duty. But stick around, it's gonna be the best prom night ever! Exciting, isn't it? You're such a tool. Yeah. What? I said I just I love this school. Ha ha ha!
He who believeth in me, though he were dead, yet he shall live and never die. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believeth in me, though he be dead, Yet he shall live and never die. I am the resurrection and the life. he be dead, yet he shall live and never die. I am the resurrection and the life. Hello, Mama. Oh, my angel. My poor, poor angel. Mama, you were right. They all laughed at me. 
Oh, my girl, my sweet, sweet girl. Mama, please hold me. Shh. It's all right now. You're home. You're safe. We're together. Baby, don't cry now. No more tears. Mama will save you from all your fears. Blue lullaby now. Mama is here. to carry
Hunt. 